Scissor siblings, come see me this Saturday, May 20th at the Huntington Beach Rec Room with special guest Zach Ass. And then also check out the new stand-up on the spot after you check out this episode of Scissor Bros. Shit for breath? Yeah, shit breath. Cause yeah. yeah, what's wrong with, I mean. Yeah, what's wrong with yeah, that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Stop. These are all synth. Uh, what are you feeling? I'm feeling that. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Woo. Hey. <laughs> guess who? Guess Miss who? Thurston is in the house. Katie Thurston is here, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Hey. It's happening. Yeah. I made it. Welcome to Scissor Bros. Yeah. Thank you. How you feeling? I want to know what Scissor Bros means. Like, where'd you guys come up with that? Um, is this pretty, actual? It's pretty, pretty, you're, you're you're better at explaining. I'll, I'll give a I'll give uh, the the spark notes or cliff notes or the yeah the the abbreviated story. There you go. Well, Steve and I have been doing podcasting together for a little bit, and people were really liking it. We kept going on each other's podcasts. Yeah, mm. you were on like three or four. Yeah, yeah. And now it's doing yours. Yeah, yeah. and then um, he randomly one time uh, he saw that I had the exact same scissors in my place that he did. <laughs> and he goes, I have those same scissors. And I go, we're scissor brothers. And then to solidify the scissor brothers pact, um, instead of a blood pact uh, that people do, like when they when they cut their hands and, you know, put blood together, um, we trimmed each other's pubes and uh, merged the pubes and we became scissor brothers yeah. that day. Don't, Don't leave me hanging, dude. Don't <laughs> oh, leave yeah. me hanging, oh, yeah. brother. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. But we haven't fully scissored yet. Oh. Yeah, we have. Well, no. not skin to skin, though. No. Mm, it doesn't count. Yeah. Really? It has to be skin to skin. There you go. And she knows, man. <laughs> Why would she know? <laughs> because she's from San Diego. Oh. Or she lives there now. Oh, yeah. You guys are yeah. vibing on that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Steve's from Poway. Technically, I'm from Seattle, but I live in San Diego now. Oh, that's oh. how we... Because we have a mutual friend, Brian. Yeah, Brian from Camp Raw. Shout out to Shout Camp Raw. Yeah. Shout out to Camp Raw. Get your tickets today. You should look into going to the summer camp, too. It's, I've been. It, it really, that's, 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 I grew up with Brian, and yeah. so I've been to Camp Raw twice, and then uh, they he told me that you guys went... You guys were... The talent last year, is that right? Yeah, it was so we fun. We did a live podcast in the main lodge. Was it fun? It's, we had a we blast. loved it. Oh it's still like no no drugs, no yeah, alcohol, yeah, no electronics, no. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what's detox. your favorite activity to do at Camp Raw? Ooh, I always liked well, they had it at different places, but there was one year it was on a lake with a lot of like the blow up yeah. stuff. I don't know if that was the same. Oh, but they had like a blob and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like this big like glacier. Oh yeah. And it was just on the dock. It just felt very like, I don't know, old school. Which is well, yeah. sad to say. It feels like an awesome throwback, like to our childhoods. Yeah. yeah. Adult summer camp. Yeah. No, did you did they have the EDM party at the end as well? I forgot about that. Yeah, silent disco, yeah, right? Yeah, silent oh, disco. That's my favorite. That was that's amazing. my favorite. Dude, we were vi- I was we were really trying to dance that. Yes. I was like pouring sweat by but, the end of that. Oh, thing. we were both pouring sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. My favorite is when you take it off though and you can like hear yeah. how awkward it is. Oh yeah, it's it's like, like <laughs> Yeah, and it was yeah. just like breathing heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you do the yoga? Um, I don't do yoga. Okay. No. no what, whoa. No, no, not at all. What, well, no. What's going on there? Wait. What? Yeah. There's. I feel like there's a there's a story well, or something I, behind it. I'm just not flexible. It hurts. That's not enjoyable. Yeah. Um. What about the arts and crafts? <laughs> um. I do remember like doing some painting and the beads. Did you guys do like the intimate like hug session? No, but we should do that sometime. I think we do enough of that. <laughs> scissor hug the same thing I think yeah. I, no wait explain hold up explain the intimate hug thing I don't know it was like the spiritual thing like circle where you like you look into a stranger's eyes for like a minute uninterrupted and you, then should we try it should me and him try it and then you I mean whatever you guys I want I have to look in your eyes <laughs> I know no, no, I mean but this is a different <laughs> no. this, you said intimate well yeah it's I don't know and then you like so, had to hug and just breathe okay so can you facilitate if we should we try to do that right now? I mean, I don't. Well, know. It, it may get weird though. The if audience we do it. might not enjoy it very much. I think they will. I think they'll love it. I think, Ryan, I mean, it's true. Hey, game changer. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's what Ryan's, do you think? Game that's changer. Ryan's, <laughs> that's Ryan's new we name. Came up with, with game <laughs> changer. Because Katie asked right before we started rolling, like, what would you do without without Ryan? And, and Steve goes, Yeah, he's a game changer. And I go. 
That's his nickname. He's the game changer. He's the game changer. What do you think, game changer? Shout out to hashtag game changer. <laughs> yeah. Ryan in the chat. Comment dog. below if you like that nickname. Yeah. I think it's solid. Right? It's like a superhero name, too. Right? It, is. it is. It is. It's like, he can one be in, the boys. in the boys. In the boys. Yeah. He yeah. could be like, um, oh, I got to be mindful of the comparison what what are you gonna <laughs> out <laughs> were you about I, to I, say? I was gonna say doppelganger but i just i didn't want to say doppelganger why what's wrong with doppelganger Do, he's a great that's a great superhero oh yeah but he's like doppelganger have you seen the boys no oh, it's I really know. good um ryan what do you think about the idea of me uh the whole um eye to eye you guys do that all the time thank you yeah yeah okay let's just move on you and katie can do it <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I thought it was a good idea, but you don't have to do it. Hey, don't beat yourself up, man. Kind of... You have lots of bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In my defense, what? Okay, okay. I'll let that. Go. You know, the bad idea he's referring to because I used to do a fart segment. Oh. It's called Stevie's Fart. I wasn't Corner. even bringing that well, up. Well, I'm but... bringing it up. What do you think about a segment like that where we play? Because people used to submit farts. Oh. Are you against that or for that? I would probably listen to one episode of that just out of curiosity. Are you the type that. of person in a relationship where you're cool with farting down the line or are you an anti-fart no. in the relationship? I will keep that in as long as I can. Because once you break that boundary, you start getting farted I, on I was... and I don't want that. Did Blake do that to you? Whoa! Steve did research for this episode. That's my ex-fiance. Ah, Steve, I, you told me to do research. Nice. I know I did. I'm impressed. I don't know okay, you're okay. gonna drop a fart. No, I had like to drop Blake's name. Oh, I mean, did great. Blake fart? No, he I was mean, a handsome guy, by the way. We were not together very long, so we, I don't think we ever reached the farting stage. Gotcha. You really? Yeah. But how was his manner? Is I mean, he's a handsome, handsome dude there. Yeah. Um. What was his mannerism? Was he a gentleman? He's Canadian oh, and a hockey player. Ooh. So like drunk him was like a a vibe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Bachelor Nation's very yeah. intense. So sometimes you gotta be like a little like hesitant on the word choices. Right, right, you know, right. it's like yeah, protect yeah. the peace. Sure. Yeah. Blake's a great guy. Yeah. He's great. Out. Yeah. <laughs> How tall was he? I'm short, so everyone's just tall to me. I don't I really he could be six foot. I have no idea. And is that something? Is that something a bachelorette is looking for? Height and weight? does weight matter as well? No, actually, I when I was the bachelorette, I requested what I called um, teddy bear bods because I have dated chubbier men in the past. Mm. So I was like, this is an opportunity to have like authentic connections with these like chubbier men. And in my like process of getting you know on the show. Um, I won't say who because I can't, but somebody high up pretty much laughed and said that would never happen. Because what? It, because you Why? know the, the show is this like romanticized, like perfect version of like what the beauty standard is. Yeah. I don't know. They they claimed because I called them out, I was like, Where's where's my Chubby chubbies. hubbies, yeah. Chubby yeah. wubbies. And they said with guys they'll get cast for the show and then get super fit in two weeks. I'm like Could me and Jeremiah be like dudes on there? Yeah, you could be on my season. I would have. This would have been my type. There you go. Really? Yeah. Now, is what if the guy's like super handsome, like Brad Pitt, okay. like perfect? Yeah. But then you smell his breath, and there's something peculiar. I mean, it depends <laughs> if it's like fixable. Like if it's shit. But like if permanent. <laughs> if it's permanent. Permanent shit. Like no, he's, like he's eating no. shit sandwiches no. all the no. time. If what it's are... like morning breath or like after an no, onion, shit. I, just shit just, all the time. It's gonna make me gag. I can't. Once you get me gagging, I'll. No, but Brad, dude, Brad Pitt. It won't matter. Have you ever thrown up on a podcast? Um, I feel like I have gotten a little gagging fit one time. Mm. Whoa. We won't go there. We might have to throw up on Scissor Bros today. No, I'm not even <laughs> trying to be. I'm. I can <laughs> no, feel it. Kidding, kidding, <laughs> I can feel it. Really, just really? talking about throw up. Shit for breath? Yeah, shit breath. Because, yeah. yeah. What's wrong with, I mean. Yeah, what's wrong with yeah, that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think there's so anything wrong with that. deal breaker? Breath. Yeah. Game changer. Come on, man. Do you have shitty breath? Get, what? Okay, listen. <laughs> no, no, he does. I do. I'm the one. Yeah. Oh. It's an Asian Brad Pitt with a mullet. <laughs> dude, dude, take it easy on but me, bro. Yeah. Take it easy but on me. Yeah, it's poop for breath. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have a girlfriend, though. You should uh, try over a year. Therabreath. 
I, it solves everything. Whoa. Wait, 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 what is that? Are you doing a yeah. plug? No, they don't pay me. <laughs> they should. But no, look it up. What does it do? What? How? I don't know. It has some fancy ingredient. It, it doesn't, It it's not strong like, uh, like Listerine. It just, but I'm telling you, you know, like when you drink, and the next morning you still have like tequila on your tongue. Okay. Mm. Fair breath will get rid of that. So the next morning when I wake up hungover, I don't have to at least deal with that leftover lingering like oh. alcohol taste. So you take it when you go to bed? Well, it's a mouthwash the morning and night. Depends on your activities. Before Is it day. better than Listerine? I think so. Can you get it over the counter? Yeah. Can you do it in a mask like Bane and put it on his head all the time? You son of a gun, dude. <laughs> they have mints. Oh, they you might do? want to look into them, yeah. Okay, so who's the most handsomest like dude out there right now that you oh. would just just f- head over heels over? What, I, an actor you, or something? No, I really don't know. If you saw all my exes in a line, none of them look the same. So I don't really have like a type to be like this mm. actor. Well, would you say Leonardo DiCaprio's handsome? No. What? I'm sorry. Oh my. Yeah. She says she likes teddy throw, bear type th- guys. Th- throw a couple out there for her. Okay, well, some of the classic men that are trending right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jason Momoa? He's okay, yeah. Whoa. Interesting, um, interesting. To- Wait. To- Toby McGuire? Toby McGuire? I, I don't remember his name, but I just got asked this question. I think he was on um, Crazy Rich As- Asians. Hey, that's good for you, man. <laughs> Cash. Steven Yoon. Oh, yeah, Henry Steven Golding. Young. What's his name? Or is that his or is that his character name? Nick Young? No. He definitely looks like a Henry Golding. Oh, Henry Golding. Yeah. Oh, well that guy. Yeah. He's And an accent. Picture. Show me a picture. Show oh, me a picture. well, your pants are about to go. Like, Hello. Oh, you think so? <laughs> can you see, can you see from from No, here? no, no, no. I don't have my glasses. Oh, he'll show you. Okay, what's his ethnicity? I don't know. Do you mind what is it? What is he? <laughs> Malaysian. He's Malaysian. 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 Yeah. Really? Wait, why do you say it like that? I don't know. I was gonna. I thought this dude's a good looking dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know him. You know him? I think he's married. Well, I, know actually. He <laughs> I know who he is. I saw him last yeah, night I mean, in my dream. That's right. I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, that guy's a heartthrob, huh? Yeah, and also a pants throb. For yeah. Steve. <laughs> Hello. Um, now let's say you met him. Yeah. On a work related thing, or maybe not. Okay. And you guys are hitting it off. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, there's a, there's a, like a fire going and it's an outside deal and you guys have already swapped numbers and, and you guys have just hit, it's just a perfect kind of like, it turned into a dating scenario. And then he turns and then everything, you know, he smells nice. She showered and obviously (sighs) dressed nice. Okay. And he turns to you and then you smell shit. (laughs) I couldn't do it. But dude, that's a guy. If it's a permanent problem, I can't get over it. Yeah. Really? Everything starts with a kiss. Kiss, talking, sex. Everything right. is like this Everything. mouth. This yes. is like the portal. Smell. And every to... kiss begins with K. It does. <laughs> That's like a commercial. It was a commercial. Okay. It was very oh, big. Oh, it was a commercial. Free publicity. It flew over my head. Wait, sing the, thing. sing the melody. Every kiss begins with K. Yeah. I remember yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, that's a deal breaker for sure. Why are we so hung up on shitty breath? Because I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Because I have shitty breath. Now, Katie, would you say you have a weak stomach in general? Uh, it depends what you mean. Like in terms so, of eating something? Well, or s- is it just trick? Because I noticed, obviously, when we were talking about the poop breath, oh. it elicited quite a drastic response from you. Once It's, it's the gag reflex. Once it starts, it like... So it's- basically, oh, when you hear someone else, like, like when you... <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. No, I, it's, I, yeah. saw, I can feel it coming. Everything starts to feel tight and I'm like sweating. Stop. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I just had to, to yeah, I was yeah, just no. curious. I was just oh, curious. I got a scenario though. I, I do these hypotheticals. Is it shitty breath? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and no, then, no. then no, I'm going to leave it alone. This is my last thing I'll ask and we'll go on to the next okay. topic. Okay, so you're still stuck with, what's this guy's name? Henry Golding. Henry Golden, Golding. And... Yeah, it's a permanent shit situation. Poo, shit, poo breath. Mm -hmm. But then, but when he really poos, it doesn't smell like anything in the bathroom. It smells like candy. I mean, will you give him a shot then? No, I don't need to be, I don't need that as a, as a green flag. Like I don't. 
His shit smells good, but his yeah, breath yeah, his does shit not. Yeah, smells like candy. No, yeah, it's a dystopian, <laughs> yeah, reality. I hate yeah. that. I, that's yeah. a horrible scenario the, the for me. The poop smells good when you walk in after him, but his breath smells. That's horrible. like unlocking like a new kink. I don't know. Like I feel like it would be like kind of confusing. But what if he buys you lobster d- dinners every night? That won't change. No. Yeah. What if he bought you whatever you wanted, like you know, and he the nicest dinners. Every time, His all breath the time. smells like shit. It doesn't matter. You could look past that, I think. I don't know that I could. <laughs> okay. I would oh, we'll move on to the next day. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, uh, you know what? Let's cleanse the air with yeah, some scissors. Cleanse. You're right. You're right. You know what? Have you have you seen us do scissors? No. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, um, so <laughs> Why am I scared? So No, no, no. This one's actually very tame. It's basically to reset the, the good energy mm-hmm. in the room. And it's very simple. You just take your hands and put them over your head or across your body like this. And we count. And it releases endorphins. And it makes our viewers and listeners feel good as well as you. So exactly. So count along okay. while you do it. Yes. You ready? Yeah. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Four. Are you doing it home along Five, with us? Five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Cleanse all the bad nine, breath in your room. Ten, nine, nine. I lost count. Okay. <laughs> I think we're on 14, 15. How long am I going? 17, 18, 19, and 20. You feel better? I do. Yeah. Right? We'll, we're going to go on to the next topic. Do you That's have any questions for Gerald, though? He's our giraffe. He sometimes talks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the first time someone game changer. What do you think about wow. that? That's the first time okay, someone shut okay, down the draft. Okay. What about Terrence our no, tree? No, no, hold on, hold on. Gerald, do you have a response to Katie right now? No, oh, I don't. You can play that fucking game. I mean, what? This bitch fucking started it, dude. That's a little bit rude. What's rude? She keeps ripping ass in this corner. Okay. So, the Bachelorette. Yeah. How did you get into, like, did you have to audition for that? Or how does that work? So first, you're on The Bachelor. So I was thirty, one of 30 girls mm-hmm. going after one guy. Mm-hmm. And then you don't get picked. So they're like, do you want to try again? But this time, you get 30 guys. Were you super, I mean, obviously, like, I'm a competitive person. Mm-hmm. Um, but were you, like... How, like, realistically, how bummed were you when it didn't work out on the first, on The Bachelor? Uh, Like, how much of it do you have to play into? I didn't go very far. So it was kind of surprising that I was picked. I was, uh, like, 11th place, which is, Mm -hmm. like, week six or something. I don't know. You don't really get a lot of time. So, like, in terms of the real world, it felt very comparable to, like, I had a great first date with this guy. I'd like to keep seeing him. I didn't have enough time to be like, I'm falling in love with him. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to spend my life with him. So getting sent home was sad because you're like, oh, I wanted to keep exploring it, but not like heartbreak. Right. And is it is it authentic like authentic as far as the connections and stuff that you have with these? For me, it was. It was. Yeah, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, right? But I really wanted it to be like a very genuine experience. So yeah. I stayed open to a lot of people, mm-hmm. but you don't really have time. Like you should probably shouldn't do that. You probably should hone in on like two people only. That's it. You don't have time. How yeah? How how many like hours would you say you actually were t- even talking to the guy? Like oh, on the bachelor. so the guy that I, well, the guy I ended up getting engaged to, I probably spent a total, total of 24 hours over like six weeks. What? And a big chunk of that is the overnight date, which is like, you know, eight hours. What happened? Can you go through that date like that? Tw- the yeah. overnight date? Yeah. We fucked. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> and... How are they said that she's I know she's I know I just I heard fantasy her fantasy sweets yeah. guys um, <laughs> and did he make the first move Um I actually don't remember cuz it's it's a little awkward no it's it's a great question yeah. because yeah. it's the first time you don't have a, a mic on the cameras are gone the producers are gone you this is the first time you're by yourself with this person in like a locked bedroom basically And you also are seeing what could end up being the more realistic side of them yeah. because they're not playing the camera. Oh, they're yeah. not hamming it up a no little bit. No one's helping them with the conversation yeah. or like interrupting when it's going south. Mm-hmm. I just remember we drank, like it took a while before we like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's just really, it's a very weird experience. Now, sure. did you, 
did he was there like um like jazz music in the background there was a fireplace in the room they gave us as whatever we wanted we had all this dessert wine alcohol so it we was, watched Animal Planet. So, so it was romantic. He, so did he put a ramen noodles in the microwave for you, or <laughs> keep going. did he wrap your feet? Keep going. I'm just like I'm trying to get inside the yeah, mind yeah, of Steve right yeah. now, like what he's imagining on the set of The Bachelor. Yeah. Whatever so you, you want, they give you. you. Want. So oh. if I was like, I need sex toys, they would have given that to me. Really? Whatever I want. Wow. They want it to be a great. That would be crazy suite. if yeah. you pegged him on. But that's <laughs> your first interaction. Yeah. Like the doors are all closed yeah. and everything. What did you ask for? Candles and just, I'm a I'm a basic girl, so like I just needed a little bit of wine. What kind of wine? Oh, red. I don't know. Just red, regular wine. Just red. Yeah. Was he drinking wine with you? Yeah. Can we can we uh, make what? up a song about? Yeah, go a ahead. Basic girl. Uh, yeah, she go says ahead. she's a basic girl. I think. No, that we I've can... taken the test. I'm vanilla. I'm not a bad bitch. I'm basic. I like my milk with vanilla. If I'm watching a movie, I hope it's not a thriller. Cause I'm basic. No, you'll, you'll, you'll come in on this next part, oh. Katie. I'm basic I don't want to do anything crazy Cause I'm basic <laughs> Don't stick anything in my butt Because I'm basic <laughs> Just let me lay down Cause I'm basic <laughs> I'm basic <laughs> This is a shout out to all you basic queens out there Cause listen you don't have to pretend to be something you're not. Sometimes you just want a good foot rub and good missionary on your back. Sometimes you just want to get in bed and watch a nice show at the end of the night. You don't need all these fancy fireworks and proposals in the sky written in clouds. You just need someone to connect with. Shout out to the basic queens of the world right now. Basic. Basic. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Good improv. Yeah. Yeah, Heck that yeah. worked out. That worked out. <laughs> Heck yeah. Download yeah. it on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, what was that guy's name in the um what, the drink of the wine? Blake? That was that was Blake. Yeah, the fantasy suite was Blake. Okay, so can I give you a hypothetical? Oh yeah. What if it was perfect? And then oh, when God. it got to the um the the intimacy part you you, you, you kind of start feeling down there and there was a pebble. Oh, I thought you were going to see a shitty breath. Um, no. Nope. Small dick. Like, like micro. Look. Micro. If he knows what he's doing, whether with his hands, his mouth, his micro, then that's okay. Really? Yeah. But no, I, you, I don't think you understand. Like a rice crisp, like a rice. So like a, a Skittle. A grain of rice? <laughs> That's Look. the most Asian thing you've ever said. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Yeah. A, a gr- <laughs> what if he had a penis the size of a, of a grain of rice? Yes. <laughs> grain of rice. Um. Gr- yeah. Strap on. Oh. Yeah. There's a, so there's a solution that? to everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But that's not the same, uh, right? depends i don't hey if you have a good connection who knows? intimacy is intimacy no matter how you do it wow really yeah okay so that's okay that so you'll is, be fine yeah okay yeah. that's fine you'll be good Wait, are you <laughs> play- <laughs> what, can- no red to play- go red to go brother are you implying that i have one i, I like, didn't the- say that are you projecting well, you, you said you'll be good you said and you looked at me you're like you'll I be good looked your direction yeah she was actually looking at my nose. My nose was covering you up. <laughs> Basic part <laughs> you were two. My- Basic part two. <laughs> oh my 
my god. <laughs> okay, so okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Now, as far as the men they choose, yeah. How do what? How does that work out? Like, do they submit? Like, do they audition? I mean, I feel like there's less guys applying. So on my season, I know a lot were recruited, mm. and a lot came from San Diego. Like ten of them. Really? It was during COVID, so I th- feel like casting was just like you come over you know oh, like yeah. It, it, yeah they're more willing to be out and about and stuff like that probably plus san diego guys are like a type i feel like all you like think so fit surfer tan dudes yeah well because i'm from san diego and yeah. Wait, what yeah. happened <laughs> i love you brother love we're just picking on you today I love you. I love you don't don't go to the red zone yeah it's fine um yeah, I wasn't that fit. Well, no, I was fit back then. Oh, I know you Because of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, He was fit back in the yeah. day. Yeah. Um, so is that your type, like the surfer, kind of like no. swimming bod? No, they're all, I'm t- I told you, all my exes look different. They're all different. All of them. Chubby, Dude, skinny, her white, ex- Asian. Her exes all of the are like a guess who board game, brother. You're just Truly. flipping up different pictures of, of guys. Some have mustaches, some are fat, some are skinny, mm. some are white, some are black, some yeah. are Asian, some are uh, <laughs> Mexican. Latino, just a black, big, just white, a big bag of Skittles. Native American. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's about the heart. It's about the heart. Yeah. So does personality matter? Yes. Over anything. Okay, I'm gonna even shift. over looks. I'm, yes. I'm going to shift this slightly. Um, so, Katie, I noticed something uh about you uh i started following you recently um on instagram stuff like that and you've been doing uh stand-up now yeah. how long have you been uh doing stand-up technically like eight months awesome but it was like a weird path of stand-up yeah tell me how you got into that and because i'm curious yeah from i've got a couple i'm very interested actually about like how you got into it um because it's a very unique path, the way that oh. kind of how you've gotten into it. It's wild. The whole, like the whole thing is weird. So before the pandemic, right before it hit, I was like, I'm ready to go to open mics. I just want to do them for fun and go to these open mics. Then all the clubs shut down. Mm-hmm. So then I started putting out material on TikTok, which was new at the time. Then had a little viral moment of like, you know, having a following and people liking my sense of humor. Yeah. Um, which then I do believe led to me being picked to go on like The Bachelor, Bachelorette, so I took a, a pause. Then during my like Bachelorette PR visits, whatever, I went on Whitney Cummings' podcast mm-hmm. and I told her, I was like, oh yeah, I really have been wanting to get into stand-up, like I'm ready to try it again. She's like, do you wanna come do like an opening set for me? And I was like- She offered that? Yes, with zero stand-up, zero what? open mics, like, but like you can't, say no like when will that opportunity ever come exactly. you know and it was it was in anaheim it was like a huge audience yeah um i was so scared like even driving there i was like i hope i just crash and die and then i have a good excuse to not how do nervous it. were you <laughs> so nervous i was so nervous <laughs> it ends up in the newspaper yeah your family like she was headed to go do her dream and she was probably gonna kill it that night it's probably gonna be the best <laughs> you'll never ever. know because she's dead yeah exactly I, literally, I think i even took a covid test that day just to have a good excuse to bail out but nothing was oh, I, I think people really like that excuse like i'm just not feeling oh. yeah, yeah i could have lied but i was like nope this i gotta yep, go gotta commit um so i went it was horrible like now knowing what i know now it was horrible but at, at the time i, I loved it doing a little 10 minute no experience stand up yeah. you did 10 minutes first uh, time honestly it was probably like six or eight i was by the time it happened i was so drunk because we were like an hour behind right right so i was trying to like time it right but we were running yeah. late so by the time i was there i was like i shit myself at work this one time like it was just a hot mess hot yeah. mess yeah do you remember what you're talking about that first mostly time? shitting myself one time at work um the traffic here in la um dating like dumb stuff dumb stuff we love that stuff but it was just it was chaos but i did it yeah yeah. and then um finally started doing um open mics here and after doing an open mic this girl came up to me she's like hey i'm actually producing a show do you want to do a 10 minute set i didn't even have 10 minutes but i was like okay yeah yeah. so i had a month to just figure it out sure Mm -hmm. um did it loved it and then of course people like do you want to produce your own show and i was like i only have 10 minutes but i will figure it out so I did, I produced two different shows and did kind of like a, um, one was like a competition back mm-hmm. in Seattle at the Tacoma Comedy Club. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so even though I only had 10 minutes, all the other comics got to do like a little contest. Yeah, yeah. And then we did one here in San Diego that was just like, 
you know, opener, feature, headliner, Q and A mm-hmm. at the end. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's that's well, the weird. Well, what's kind of interesting to me is um, a lot of times when people get like some attention with a show, specifically like reality shows or or uh, like with TikTok or whatever. I'm not seeing them go to open mics, which that was what impressed me about you posting about it is you you made a post about your night of open mics around San Diego that you're hitting. Yeah. And I feel like that's really rare to if you get some like a lot of love online to go do the really hard part of stand up, which is the open mic stuff. Yeah. It's like doing the work because it's easy to get booked on shows totally. when you have like a credit or s- some attention on you or some heat yeah. on you it's easy to get spots because people want to have you out they know that people yeah. will come out to see you but i saw a video that you posted where mid open mic set you got recognized yeah um and to me that in in some ways i think can be more difficult than bombing in obscurity does that make sense oh totally i yeah. mean it and that's the hard part is like you have people wanting you on a show, but you're inexperienced, but you want the opportunity, but you got to put in the work, but then you yeah. don't want to be recognized because you have, you know, 700,000 people online saying that joke was ass. You know, it's like, I know, that's why I'm trying to figure it out, yeah. you know? Um, so it is it is a crazy path to take, but I've been doing it. I love it. Like, I'm not stopping. Mm-hmm. Um, I am putting in the work um, because I want to do it well and do it right, you know? Especially when yeah. I'm on these shows with other comics, I know people are probably gonna be quick to judge at first. Like, oh, she's some reality person taking advantage. Like here she is on the show. Mm-hmm. In some ways I'm trying to impress them. To be, sure. to be like, look, I promise I'm like practicing, I'm writing, yeah. and, you know, I've tweaked it a, min- a million times, you know? Scissor Brothers! Hey, I think I have something on my back. Really? Yeah. That mole's really unique. Oh. Kind of like the unique contact. Oh, hold up. Say it again. Okay. Hey, I, hey, I think there's something on my back. Yeah, that's unique. I've never seen this mole. Hmm. It's sort of like the unique contact. God. <laughs> Go again. Okay. Hey. Yeah. I think there's something on my back. Yeah, kind of like that mole I've never seen. It's really unique. Yeah. Similar to Kind of like that unique contact. contact. Content. I said, okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hey. Hey. I've never seen that mole. Me neither. That's really unique. It is? It's similar to the unique content you could only get on, on Patreon. Patreon. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. For only $5 a month, you get a new bonus weekly episode. Unique and that's, exclusive. That's like a dollar twenty-five an episode a month. That's awesome. That's a great deal. Yeah. So if you're a frugal brother or sister, that's right along your budget. patreoncom slash Hey, grandfather. Grandfather? Yeah. What's that? Oh, Scissor Bros hot sauce. That's the most delicious sauce on earth. Yeah, it's made my taste come back after I lost it 22 years ago. How does one get a bottle of that, Grandfather? RevolutionaryHotSauce.com slash Scissor Bros. Revolutionary.com slash Scissor Bros. Revolutionary Hot Sauce, you dimwit. Revolutionary Hot Sauce. Thanks. Can I have this? Yeah, if you give it back later. I'll give it back up later, Grandfather. Oh, it sounds good. Okay. Why are we shirtless? This is what we do in our household, Grandpa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Get some today. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing that you hope for, like, is the respect of your peers. At the end of the day, like, that's more impo- that's way more important than, like, random internet comments and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, if other comics are finding me funny and find that I'm on a good path and a good track, then that's yeah. good. So, Put I don't in know, the work. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, now, how do you come up with your material and everything? Do you just, do you write every day or? I try, but sometimes you're just, like and a funk. But yeah. since, like, 2020, so when I first wanted to start doing it, mm-hmm. I have just a notes uh, ongoing notes app of just random thoughts. Some of them totally make sense. Some of them I wrote when I was high and I'm like, that makes no sense. I don't know like where I was going with that. But yeah, I'll just check the notes and try to pull a little bit of inspiration or connect the dots to like 
two different funny thoughts. So you do edibles or do you smoke edibles. flour? No, edibles, mostly. So you do all, all edibles. Yeah. That's interesting. Why? Because I heard the, the high is different, right? <laughs> it takes longer to get to. But I feel like they're the same. Do you have you never done an edible? Well, my my girl just uh, did a like a it looked like a watermelon uh, like now and later. Yeah. And she only ate like a little bit of it, and it like it, it kind of sent her into like a twilight zone, like oh, like like the, the audible things were kind of catching her. Yeah. Off guard and everything. And I she, mean, there's different types. Like yeah. some that are like little uppers, and some that are like little ones put you sleep yeah so do you do do you smoke uh do you don't vape or smoke flour no i mean i have before but like i cough and look like an idiot like i don't look cool doing it you know can you perform on an edible i have done that it doesn't go very well so what happens describe that experience you're just like you think you're going fast but you're like really processing slowly and then you think it's going to be funny and the laugh feels delayed and all of a sudden you're just like in your head I don't know. It's just like being overly drunk. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. To me. I would hate it. I like if I'm like sleepy at all for sets, I don't like it because you have a little bit of a delay where you're not on top of everything, especially with what's going on in the room. So that sounds. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Any more comedy? Go ahead. Keep going with the comedy. Oh, you like that? Well, it's, <laughs> cause it's something that we talk, cause I, I, I interview a lot of comedians too. And it's like, I, uh, I don't want to like sound like I'm rehashing stuff like, so when did, you know, but that's fine as far as uh, your, the comedy questions and everything, <laughs> you know, cause we've, it's kind of like, that's why I'm trying to come up with like New other, <laughs> yeah, other things because, you know, we, we've, we've done a lot about comedy i mean especially we talk a lot about comedy yeah about, um I've, i just asked because i've i'm just kind of like not desensitized but i asked so many of the same questions so how, how yeah. long have you been doing it like when did you start and yeah. and but that's fun that you did that <laughs> your questions suck ass but like it's fine i don't think i really <laughs> no it's fine because I, I was way. talking to, I, I like i like talking about the micro penises and the Here, shit let's breath. talk more about shit breath for 20 <laughs> minutes <laughs> yeah, but, but we got off that but that's something okay. that we're, we're getting I, off the comedy thing now. We no, 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 I want you to keep doing it then. If you, <laughs> no, you literally no, no. just I'm said. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. No, okay. you know what? We I'm should sorry. do a dance break. Yeah. 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 Hey, game changer. Yeah. Get that other angle ready, brother. Right, gotcha. Oh, um. Is there music? I, for, I actually I forgot the music. Is it okay if we add it in later? Yeah. Can we dance in silence? Is that okay? Silent disco in yeah. real life. Okay, heck yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Come on, man, I was gonna spin like, you. Oh, you wanna spin? <laughs> Are you dancing at home along with us? <laughs> we hope you are. <laughs> All right. Okay. Heck yeah. Ooh. Right. I wanted to talk about like the dating market. Oh yeah. And so what's well, that like? Steve knows a lot about the different types the different the, you call it the manosphere i want to learn more tell me everything yeah steve knows actually a lot about this well the stuff that i look up the number one um game changer or what according to these people are looking for is attraction is the most important thing appearance appearance your attraction level i disagree okay yeah and it says that Eighty percent of the females out there are looking at the top, like like five to ten percent of the males, like the bre- the supermodel dudes. Is do you agree with that? I feel like I have heard something similar about yeah. why um, average men have hot women because all the hot women are going for the hot men, mm. and so th- those hot men get to pick whoever. And then the hot women that weren't picked start trickling down from like the tens to the nines to the eights till finally like a seven, maybe a six captures one. So you're saying the women compromise and date down? Yeah. 
Well, not according to the, <laughs> this, the, the, these guys are saying it's kind of like hypergamy where they only date up. What what is that word you use? Hypergamy. You think women are dating up? Could you define yeah. hypergamy? Hypergamy is you're you're looking at always up like the at the highest level like attraction level you're you're you're, you're going up on your trajectory as far as the appearance or wealth or stuff like that, you know, it's like you're kind of looking at the the alpha, the the top I think we try, yeah, and then we get older and start to settle. So you do. There is a settling <laughs> aspect. I think I'm 32. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit being. That's single. what I'm saying. So do you feel? Are you? Do you feel pressured? Like, do you, would you date down? Would you date down then? But what's dating down? I'm talking appearance, but like great personality. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you feel that. I mean, look. I if you have a good personality, it helps. It makes you prettier on the outside you know they say that inner beauty like reflects outward <laughs> yeah agree, it's so true though like i've met like very attractive how, men how, and women how do you think you and i got our girls hmm? come on well, man it's not our yeah you're right personality it's, our person. <laughs> it's that personality <laughs> we both have beautiful beautiful women. souls no we both and have beautiful, beautiful women. women yeah 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 that great personality sense yeah. of humor that there goes go. very far for what men. sense of humor yeah but you, he said something that really hurt my feelings. He's, he said, when the cameras were off, hear me out, Katie. He goes, the cameras are off, and he goes, I can't believe you have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, the amount of disgusting things I've seen you do. Yeah, it she likes, She me. loves me for me. That's true love. Right? Yeah. There you go. She's, Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. It's been like a year, you said? A year and a half. And, and it's good because I always feel like a year and a half is like the make it or break it point. We're doing long distance right now. Oh, wait. Have you met her? She was just with me for a month. Okay, so I'll make sure like... Katie, <laughs> you're not working with Dude, me, man. Katie just Katie, thought... Katie, Katie, you are taking shots at me, man. Katie just thought that you've been catfished <laughs> for a year and a half. Katie, Katie, Katie. <laughs> that you, you thought that, that you've been sent into a, a oh money to a lady God. in Russia for a year and a Katie, half. Katie, what the hell's going I, on with that thought process, I'm man? I'm feeding off what's happening. I don't know. I just met you today. Did I ever meet her? Uh, is this all... So you're thinking this relationship is all oh, in my I mind? I wonder why Katie... Katie would think that I have shit breath. <laughs> <laughs> that was you the first part of this podcast. Do you, you smell that? <laughs> dude, of course smell. I smell it. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. He could have meant it. I yeah, saw. No. So yeah, it's going good. And it but it's difficult doing the long it takes yes. effort. Yes. It takes a lot of planning and effort. But we're learning to coexist like she was out for a month, you know? Was it a full month? Yeah. Where's she at? Whoa. Living wise? Pennsylvania. Ooh. Wait, see, again. No, it's not again. like, it's nothing against Pennsylvania. It's just like a different time zones. Traveling is very inconvenient. This isn't like a San Diego to LA <laughs> long distance. <laughs> You're saying the wrong shit, man. No, no I just said like, that's... Who has the shit breath now, <laughs> no, Katie? Yeah. No, what do you mean? Then, Dude, these are the challenges I'm just, that arise. I'm saying congrats on all the obstacles. It's a three hour time difference. Aren't stopping you. Yeah. So what's next though? Is she gonna move here? Are you gonna move there? I don't Ooh. know. I need to get a car. To oh, drive to Pennsylvania? No, just to have when she's here. I don't have a car. So? But you need a car. You need a car. To be in a relationship? Well, it's just we Uber, but it's it would help if I had a car when she's here. Wouldn't you agree with that? I mean, I guess. So wait. So you would so date a guy in San Diego without a car? I have dated a guy without a car in Seattle and we made it work. How long? Well, the pandemic hit, and then I realized we only enjoyed going out to eat and drinking. <laughs> so Whoa. Hey, that's Whoa. real right there. There's a lot of oyster dinners, I bet. Oyster dinners? I mean, oysters. Do you like oysters? Oh, yeah. Did you have them recently? Yeah. At, uh, so shout out to Ted and Connie's. <laughs> do, you, a... do you bite it or swallow it? He's a swallower for sure. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, what's your problem today, <laughs> man? <laughs> There's a lot of passive aggressive energy, brother. No, no, oh man. Oh my Come god, on, man. I have I didn't I was staying away from the gay shit this episode. I didn't right? It's so and weird. You said, it's so weird when you bring it up like it's a talent that <laughs> that you've been working really hard to not bring up I didn't gay do it. stuff I when didn't we do have it. a female guest on the show. I know, but I didn't do it. Um, oh, oh, do you think that Jeremiah and I should look into each other's eyes? Yeah, but I thought it was fun. I want to be in the moment with you. We support it. Um so what would be 
a deal breaker for you in the dating market? Hmm. I feel like I'm very open to a lot of things now because I said I'm 32 and I'm single. Do you have any, uh, do you want kids? I don't know. Mm. I'm mm. open either you're way open. because here's, here's what women do. And this is what I did. When you're younger and you, you're in love, you start picturing this, this fake child. You're like, I'm going to have a baby with this guy. We're gonna, this is the na- hypothetical name. And you're all excited for this future with this man and this fake baby. The relationship dies and that fake baby dies and it's traumatic for oh, you. You play this out in your mind? When I was younger, yeah. I was like, I got to stop doing that. So now I, the kid, like, oh. there's a wall. I don't think about him. I don't know. Even if I'm dating someone, I don't care. Right. Until that piss on a stick is happening. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the pregnancy test. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Wait, go ahead. Say yeah, what you no, got to say. That's okay. what, that's, say what you got to say, dude. That's what she's referring to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> the piss on the stick is a pregnancy test. I know. Test. I just yeah. put it together. Okay. It took me a while, dude. You Not know, all of us are parents here. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. <gasps> um, now, what is your energy like whenever a woman has to do that? It, are you a ner- extremely nervous? Pee on a stick? Yeah. Well, we're at an age now where they're probably trying. So, so yeah, you're anticipating of, it. I mean, I haven't peed on a stick if you're asking me, but if women, I support most of the time. I think they're now trying when I was younger. It'd be scary. Like, <gasps> good yeah, luck. In your early twenties, you're like, oh, hopefully. you see like a young one and you're like, right. now like, yeah, in the thirties, it's kind of like, it's a miracle right. baby. Right, what about right. freezing your eggs? Aren't women doing that? <sighs> yeah. You know, like, just, it's a geriatric pregnancy when you're like 34. Yeah. yeah. I literally did start looking into like freezing your eggs. But th- it's that's expensive. What, it's really expensive. How much is it? Yeah. It's like 10 grand just to start. And there's all these like shots and medication and stuff. And then every year it's like an annual fee to keep it frozen. Yeah. There, you have to buy a storage unit for oh, your eggs. Wow. Yeah. Just like if you were moving and you had a, like a lot of stuff like. like yeah. Just se- similar thing. They, there's like the freezer space for oh, eggs. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, yeah. So um, can men do that? Like freeze their sperm as well? You don't really need to uh, because it's a weird thing uh, how God created us that um, men can impregnate women when they're in their 90s if they really want to. Oh, shit. Your sperm can still be working literally till the day you die. But really? There's like kind of an expiration. I don't want to say, excuse me. I don't want to say expiration, expiration date. date. There's yeah. a cutoff point with women where it's no longer healthy and you probably won't get uh, pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. This guy has no, <laughs> This guy does not shoot blanks. I know you have he, a he like a, a eighteen month shooter. old now, or how old your baby? Yeah, he just turned two, and then um, uh, <gasps> baby number two is due Ooh. next month. I didn't know you had a second one coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, boy, girl, yeah. do you not know? Another boy. Oh, good yeah. luck. Yeah. Actually, I hear boys are really easy. Yeah. As like babies and and toddlers mm-hmm. versus girls. So. Yes. Yes. So we'll see. Yeah. Congrats, you're doing good dude. Hey man, thank you. You're doing good. You're doing dude, my best. That's all I dude, can do. Dude, you're doing good. All I can do. Dude, you're a good dad. Your kid's healthy. Everyone, yeah, you're doing good. Uh, you just saw him outside a second ago. Healthy boy. Have you met his kid? I didn't healthy see Healthy boy, happy, well well adjusted. Everything's positive. He's like, for the record, the baby's yeah. fine. The baby's <laughs> fine. Yeah. The baby's yeah. fine. does not yeah. need to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, if you were hypothetically pregnant or about to have a kid, you want a boy or a girl? I don't think I care. You don't care? I don't You'll, think so. Yeah. You'll take what you get. I think so, yeah. Okay. Maybe a boy. I want to be like the only like, yeah. queen, you know? Like, yeah. Good husband, We're, good good son. Uh, now, you've mentioned a, a couple things. Would you say you're a party girl? No. I mean, like in spurts. In spurts. You know, like, because of my age now. It's like, right, I, well, I go, I go hard. The guys, look at this. This? What's going on there? What happened? I, I drank. I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> see you got it yeah okay at the bar what happened at the bar this was stagecoach so which is like a, a three-day festival i only went for two of the three days i don't know i i hopped a fence and i also tried to swing dance okay. with someone i got so. my answer <laughs> 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 I, I got it do you have any crazy uh crazy party stories from back in the day that um I don't know where something insane happened or something that you maybe regretted the next day. Like when you woke up, you're like, oh, that was kind of too wild of a night last night. I mean, I was actually like a a late bloomer when it came to like the party phase Mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But I do remember this weird like fake threesome, as I like to call it, that I was part of. I don't know how it happened. What is a fake threesome? Well, it's that I, again, late bloomer, good girl. I, all I remember is I had my pants, like jeans on. Jeans, Mm -hmm. not even jeans, but I was topless. The guy and the girl are completely naked, having sex, and I'm on the side, like like dry humping his leg, 
for some reason being part of this experience. I, I just remember like smelling the condom, like everything. I was just like, what am I doing here? How do oh. I like partake without like partaking? Yeah. And so I just like kind of like watched them fuck while I occasionally like kissed his like mouth or neck and humped him from the side because she was on top. <laughs> That's quite the visual right there. I, rem I And I remember the next day, like, threatening him, like, if you tell anybody, we're going to smash the windows of your car. Da, da, da. Like, oh, Whoa. my God. Well, it was, like, so scary. Like, in high school, I was so, like, oh, my God, risque, you know? Yeah. Well, so, wait, so how old were you when you did this? That was, I was 17. Whoa. See? That's wild. The judgment. No, no, no. no, no that's no, crazy. No, 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 that's wild. No, no, yeah. I was picturing you like mid-20s or something like no, that. See, that's why I, like, I was like trying to be cool, but like... But as soon as you said the threat, I'm like, how old? Yeah. Because <laughs> we like were... a level-headed person does <laughs> not, yeah. not like throw threats no, around. No, yeah. we were scared like seniors and juniors in high school. Like, oh my God. Well, because that stuff spreads like wildfire. Oh, yeah. And then like, that's what's so weird about high school is like, did you ever do anything where like somebody's like, ah. Oh, Heard, did you hear about Stephen Lee? He did this. Like I never got, I didn't even kiss a girl in high school. I got more action in middle school. Middle school? Yeah. You got and then more you action stopped in, in high school. school. Yeah. Why? Oh, just take wrestling serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then I joined the Christian, on, on campus uh, Christian group. So I would invite women, not women, to pray. females to pray in front of, uh, at the flagpole. And to church, to church. So that was the only time that girls were on their knees around you. <laughs> I was waiting yeah. for it. I hey. was waiting for it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, and, and all all the other females knew it too because they would sign it in my yearbook. Like the best of luck getting girls in college, maybe for you. Oh. Maybe you'll oh. get laid in, in college. Yeah. Everything so they wrote it in my reason. yearbook. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. yeah. But I. But it was like I was so. Oh God, I just spit so much. <laughs> I was so self conscious about it. Because all my friends got got the girls. When did you lose your virginity? Oh man, that wasn't a good experience. Um, that was probably my second year in college at Arizona State. What happened? And, ooh, uh, I feel like it just unlocked some trauma. I remember um, the story. You know it. I know the story. Well, go ahead. I want you, <laughs> you to, want to I want you to regurgitate virginity. it off your memory. Off your memory. <laughs> this would be a good exercise. I want to. <laughs> yeah, I want to exercise just patience. Oh. I want you to you to to say it because I've told this story so much. Okay, can I think about it? I'm gonna... Think about <laughs> think about get it, your dude. think about it T-shirt merch. <laughs> I think today. about JeremiahWalkins.com. Yes. There's a Scissor Bros shop and Frugal Bros. It's twenty percent off right now. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> think um, about it and go. Think about it. okay. So can I just tell you the some moments that I remember, but I don't even remember. I'm this gonna, is the fun part. This up. is the fun okay. part. This mess, is the fun part. I want, I want to hear it from you. Um, we'll see how many details I get, right? Because <laughs> I, you told me this probably a couple years ago, like on a roadcast or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Um, you were in a dorm room and um, uh, there was like this fat Hawaiian girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> The story Keep just going, started. <laughs> You're doing great, bro. Um, Keep doing it, man. Uh, I guess. Uh, so, <laughs> I think one of the girls that was in the in the dorm, you actually wanted to get with, but she ended up going to sleep or something. And then the bigger Hawaiian girl, uh, it was like there was bunk beds, I think, that were involved. You're doing awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, and and then you started hooking up. And like, um, you kind of freaked out. Like you had like a like like a like a, a panic. Like after you um, you came, uh, and it didn't it didn't last for very long. <laughs> and she was really <laughs> she she was really disappointed. Of course. <laughs> Fantastic. I think, Keep going. I think Steve took a skateboard and like skated away or something. Bravo. Wow. She also played she was playing luau music in the room. She had this thing and you're like doo -doo 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 -doo. and then she offered me um a, a beer. And yeah, it was just not a good experience. Oh, then did, did I tell you the part where I saw her on campus and I just skateboarded away in panic? Oh. 
She goes, Steve. And I was like, just scared. I was just, I would pet. I saw her on campus. He was a skater boy. <laughs> so see you later, boy. Yeah. He wasn't good He was a skater boy. He was the later boy. <laughs> Has she ever tried to reach out since? What if you, what if she calls you? Goes, dude, e, think about, dude, seriously, you're a quick thinker. Steepy. Think <laughs> Steepy. Oh, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Hello? Steepy. Who's this? The, the fat Hawaiian. <laughs> You yeah, lost, you, lost, so, you lost your virginity to me. Okay, so what? Is one that a Hawaiian th accent? What is that? <laughs> you, I think so. You lost your virginity to me. <laughs> that's not. Was that's, that better? <laughs> I don't know if that's. Hey, I have a. I, <laughs> Go ahead. I followed the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Do not get that's a Hawaiian. <laughs> and there's a baby in my belly. No, no. Yeah, it's yours, Steve. What if you do have Dude. a kid out there? No, 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 no. Because I, I used a condom. It ha it was like five seconds. Less than five seconds. Hey, it doesn't matter. Because I didn't know. Cum, cum doesn't know a difference. Wait, five seconds before you put a condom on? No, 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 no. I put it on and then I was in. Wait, say that again. Did you put it in raw first and then go. No, I, no, no, raw. no, 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 no. Because, no, she had condoms. But then I didn't know what the sensation, you know, it was new to me. So when I was in it, I would go, oh, you know, oh, oh this feels good. Good. And then boom, and then I was done. And then I just laid on my back like in silence because I was uh, now I would start processing it. Okay. Wait, when you finished, were you on top or on bottom? Uh, are you talking about the bunk bed? Because she well, was on. No. <laughs> okay. But... Well, she. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to figure out Dude. if there's a chance of any semen being in her and that you have a child out there. Why are you so stuck on the semen, man? Because you were freaking out over your first time, and I'm trying to understand why. Why, why was I freaking out? Yeah. Okay, so you missed the part where, she, okay, so her sweet mates walked in. They're like, I want to go dancing. After we're gonna, or No, before? no, before. Okay. Before, they're like, okay. two sweet mates came through. They go, we're going to go dancing. Wake your friend up. We're going to go dancing. And then in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to go dancing. So they had, you know, walked back to their room through the bathroom. And I just kind of like crashed out or, you know, because I was just chilling. I was, you know, I was drinking beers. Yeah. So they had facilitated again, came back to check up on us and they separated us. OK, you and a girl. Yeah. So because she had a bunk bed, but her roommate moved out. She had her own room. OK. And there was a, a you know. A bunk bed so they separated us put her on the top bunk and me on the bottom bunk to go to sleep yeah to go to sleep and goes okay and then they they, they were kind of like nannies or something okay it was weird and so i don't know why i did this but i go you know like i let five minutes go by and i when go, it's just you two and yes and, the, and then okay. they turn off the lights oh, like the, the, the kids are going to sleep yeah yeah and then i go hey she goes yeah i go are you sleeping and she's like, I can smell your breath. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we get into the challenge, Hold brother? On, let me finish my <laughs> let me finish my story. Yes, yes. Okay. And so <laughs> going back, okay, fast forward to when it it was quick. Yes. I was lying on my back and then I was already fig I was like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta figure out a way to get out of here. Cause you know, I had already nutted. And so she rolls over and she, she whispers, and I can smell the alcohol on her breath. She goes, let's do it again. Oh, no. And so that's when I got my skateboard, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, now we're ready for the show. Now we're ready. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Ryan and I are going to explain this challenge. Ryan, you ready? Yep. All right. So today you'll be playing a sort of old dating game. Where Jeremiah and Steve will be trying to win your rose. Ooh. You will have headphones on. There will be a divider in the middle of the room. And they will have a voice changer going through their mic. <laughs> you get to ask them at least five questions. They'll each have a chance to answer. And uh, at the end, you'll decide who gets the flower or who's going to eat flower. Oh, okay. Game changer. So Game you'll change. have to choose between bachelor number one, bachelor number two, without seeing them, and okay. then whoever loses gets the flower and flower. Good luck. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. 
Welcome to Scissor Bros Bachelor Party. Bachelor number one and bachelor number two. Bachelor number one, if you'll raise your hand. And bachelor number two. Now, Katie cannot see these two. There is a divider between them. And she cannot hear them until they speak into that microphone Jeremiah is holding. Katie, if you have your first question. I do. Um, bachelor number one. I have never used a sex toy and you want to introduce that to the relationship. Which one are you picking and why? I would pick uh, a toy that stimulates uh, your clitoris because um, like a vibrator because I know that most women enjoy that. Bachelor number two, same question. I would use a brand of vibrator called either the rabbit or the magic wand. They have great reviews on Amazon and I also feel like that would bring you to a pleasurable place without being too intimidating. All right, thank you. Um, bachelor number one, I made us dinner and there's a lot of dirty dishes. Are you doing them right away or are you gonna make me do them or are we doing them together? I would absolutely do them as soon as possible and I would let you enjoy um, watching Netflix in the living room while I do all of the tidying up as well as uh, washing the dishes, doing the laundry and uh, et cetera. Bachelor number two, I have shit in the toilet and it is overflowing with diarrhea. Are you cleaning it for me or do I need to clean it? You would most definitely need to clean it yourself. Even though I would like the relationship to move forward. I think we all to pay for our own consequences of life. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Bachelor number one, um, you stuck something up my butt during foreplay and now it's sucked up in there. Are you trying to find it yourself or are you taking me to the ER room? Oh, that's 100% me. Because I'm a gentleman, and I would try to suck it back up with my mouth like a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, bachelor number two, if you had to put food on your body to then be consumed by me, what food item would that be? I would do some research to see what is your favorite food and what would pair well with my body. A safe bet would be because you're from San Diego and the sushi is fantastic down there is to get a good spread of sushi to put over my body for you to enjoy. All right. Bachelor number one. If I wanted to introduce somebody to the bedroom, would you prefer it to be two guys or two girls? Um, definitely two girls. Because I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the guys there too. Thank you. Um, shoot, was that Bachelor one or two? I don't even remember. The other Bachelor. Uh, are we sharing phone passwords or are we keeping that separate? Ooh. <laughs> I would think that we. Would maybe keep that separate, but if you really would like to look on my phone at any time, I'm willing to give that over to you. But I think that if you are that worried about having my phone password in the first place, then we're already off to a rocky start. All right. This is my last question for both of you. Uh, bachelor number one, what is the last thing you search when looking up porn. 
Uh, usually it's granny cream pie because I, 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 I tend to like the women on the older side. All right. Bachelor number two, what's your search history in the porn website? I have too much guilt when I look at porn. So I just watch whatever suggested to me on the home page. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Uh, I do have my my pick for the rose. And that's going to go to bachelor number one. Yay! Bachelor number one? I won. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> I never win! Yeah! <laughs> Give me the flower! <laughs> okay, so my question is now, Katie, what was so alarming to you <laughs> that you chose a guy who looks like Granny cream pies. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was the, what was your, your the preferences that you were like? Oh, this is why I like this first guy more than the second guy. Uh, it was the fact that I have shit in the toilet and it is overflowing, and I'm in a state of like embarrassment and sadness and a need. And bachelor number two wasn't gonna be there for me. Yep, I will not be that person for you. <laughs> That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Call the freaking plumber. Don't make your guy have to go and clean up after you in the freaking toilet. Oh. Well, today we've learned Jeremiah is not about it. Thank you for tuning in to Scissor Bros Bachelor Party. What about the flower? <sighs> Jeremiah? I have to eat flour. You've got to eat flour. Alright. So what was my what was your favorite response from me? Your vibrator response. Made me laugh. That hit. That was a home run. That hit. <laughs> that, that hit a, the spot. It did. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dude. Is it? Are you gonna wake be, up and smell the coffee? How do you eat it? With a spoon? I don't know. <laughs> Just scoop it out with your hands. Just oh, dump it on your face. Oh, listen, <laughs> dude. What? <are> <laughs> this is gonna be nearly impossible to eat. You've got water. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Do you do baking at home? I do. What, what's your favorite things to bake? Cheesecake. You know how to make cheesecake? Yeah. How do you run it? Run down the recipe? Why didn't you say it was cheesecake <laughs> diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> that's different. It's tons of cream cheese. It is. Tons of sugar. Yeah. Eggs. Really? That's yeah. it? Uh, honestly, and like probably like some vanilla, you know, whatever topping you're doing. Do what like, about muffins? I do muffins. But I'd be like a box, you know, the box is like, add two eggs. Oh, God. Did you have fun? That was really fun. M I, mine is this part. On a scale to one to ten, ten being the funnest, wh where, 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 where are you at here? Oh, he's going to make me gag. <laughs> oh, stop. Ten. Maybe. Blech. So you give us the ten? Yeah. I can't watch him. So thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Scissor Bros Podcast. Katie, Ugh. did you want to um, plug some, like, can you plug some of your stuff? Um, follow me uh, on Instagram at at the Katie Thurston. Spell it out, please. T h e k a t i e t h u r s t o n. Anything else like you want to like website uh, merch? No, I'm just I'm new. I'm a newbie. Just follow me on Instagram. Well, what about your uh, comedy sets? How do they check you out? Um, I announce it online. They sell it pretty quick. I have two shows. Oh God, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so go if you're in San Diego or LA or anywhere in California, make sure you yeah. check out Katie Thurston yeah. doing her stand-up comedy. She's working at it on it, and uh, make sure you check out Jeremiah's uh, comedy special, Daddy, on his YouTube channel at YouTube.com/slash Jeremiah Watkins. Subscribe today to uh, Scissor Bros at YouTube.com/slash Scissor Bros. And we do have a Patreon for bonus episodes. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for you doing the show. It's fun. This is, this is bad. This flower is bad. God. Stop. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> dude, you're making her throw up, dude. I'm not trying to I make know. her throw Let's up, get him dude. some water. Get some water. You don't have to eat anymore. Okay. <sighs> okay. I just wanted to. Steve has dude, lost a lot. Lately. I've lost I a make lot, sure that I and do I was it surprised properly. that I won that one. God, I want to do it properly. Thank you. Do you not? Do you stop you eating more, it? <laughs> are you happy? Do you want me to do more? Do a few more. No, okay. I'm just gonna not over. I can't. Oh, it's his God. face. It's everything. Oh. I have. I have, I have like second. You know, like when you can experience someone else's pain. Yeah. Have you heard of that? That's what's happening. I feel. Second. Second hand, yeah. I'm absorbed. Sympathy pain. I feel it. You do? Yeah. Right now, I can't. That's why I can't look at him. Emp He's, empathy. No. Symp well, I guess it depends on what you're going for. Mm -hmm. you, you're happy or do you want me to do more? You're no. good. Okay. I'm, you're fine. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in. in. <laughs> Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and I want to take back what I said about Katie earlier. She wasn't ripping ass, she was queefing. Just kidding, just kidding. She was a fucking awesome guest, and we're lucky to have her here on Scissor Bros. Hope you guys enjoy the show, and things are going pretty well with me. Um, like I said... Uh, I got some weird gangrene around my dick lately. Don't know if it's from the crocodile that I went down on or what, but things are good in my life other than that. Check out the Patreon. Check out Stevie's vlogs and his his, his podcast. And maybe check out Stand Up on the Spot sometime. All right. Gotta go. Love you guys. Bye. Don't stick anything in my butt because I'm basic. <laughs> Just let me lay down, cause I'm basic. <laughs> I'm basic. <laughs>